All right, my name is Nelson. This is aggressively sweet. There's a Twitter space right now with all the like the freedom convoy. Um, <laughs> so we're just gonna sit and listen to this. This is gone. I'm first. Well, you're not Tam, but sure, go ahead. I'm First Nations, and though I got I don't support you guys, I do want to give you at least some um, direction of where you're headed with your insurance and things like that. Just and I'm being respectful here. I'm not going to yell at you or anything like that. <laughs> Ram Rand. But I've been listening to you, and I wanted to give you some direction and some critical points of what you've been discussing um, about getting insurance and stuff in the states and and all of that stuff. Everybody that's on this feed right now, and if you're at any of the protests in Coots or Ottawa or Toronto, I'm going to be honest with you. Your license plates, your registration numbers, your VIN numbers, anything like that have already been taken by the authorities and have been shared oh. by to Homeland Security in the United States. No. Yes, it's true. And so anybody that's there, um, that they, they don't even have to know your names. They will find out who you are. You will. This not is not. This is more serious. Before the last person that lives. spoke uh, was playing the Ram so, Ranch song. I'm going <laughs> to be honest with you guys. The best thing that you can do what? right now is there's what? two. You have two options here. You can leave, um, and hopefully whoever it is that you work for, meaning your trucking companies and whatever are going to be willing to keep you on and so you have a job to be able to put food on your table and stuff like that. If you don't, even if you own your own rig, the chances of it being seized are very high. So you've got to think about that because I know that these rigs are really expensive. Um, I understand you guys think, think that you're fighting for freedoms, but you're about to lose a lot of them. You're not going to be able to fly you won't be able to go into the United States through an, through land, through air. Says you. Says you. Who, like, oh, I'm, I'm just telling you. 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 You don't have to listen to me. That's fine. Well, Green, shut up. But I'm just telling you the facts. I'm not trying to, to, um, I'm not trying to belittle you. I'm not trying to do anything like that. I am just telling you exactly what this means. The fact is, is Homeland Security is a is um, a part of the um, United States that was formed because of what happened. No, oh, I've had nothing. They kicked out. They kicked her out. Don't we have a right to privacy? Like it's in the charter. It's a little. It's the very sad right because these people have kind of fallen victim to you know conspiracies and stuff. And... As, um... But it's awesome because there's so many speakers with that. So it doesn't matter how we see it. It matters how they see it. So you have to think about what the consequences are going to be and then decide, are you willing to I, I wonder how put can yourself I speak? in that position? Are you willing to put your family in that position, your children in that position? Um, this is some, like, you may not like her, but... I was really firm about saying let her speak because the fact is she was telling the truth and whatever everybody's opinions on this, whether you're one of the trolling ranchers or whatever, you need Don't to make sure. Say that word. And listen, I hear what you're saying, but we need to let the people, we've heard enough about the truth. We know <laughs> the truth. <laughs> We We've heard enough truth. about the truth. Right? It's about, about time to, to speak we about lies. <laughs> it's it. all lies. It's all lies. Yeah, it's all relative. You know, it's got the big mainstream media <laughs> truth that they keep trying to peddle us and just try and, you know, paint us all as a bunch of Confederate Nazis. Oh, shit. This guy's women. crying. They're ramming it into us. This <laughs> Their agenda, their liberal agenda. <laughs> he said Ram, Ram Ranch. Did they mute we him? all need to take a moment oh. and just breathe. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Because there's so much going on now. Take a deep one. Sorry. Are you okay? There's, there's so much so going many on people now. Trolling and and we, it sounds like we're going to start turning It's kind of sad. Other. It's kind of sad. And we can't do that. But it's also funny. Freedom, freedom Convoy 2022. No, we're not doing that. Because I just took her out anyways. We got, like I said, we got the truth. There's one truth. We got it. It's here. 
Let's leave it there. There's don't only one truth. Turn on anybody, but I don't want to yep. hear any other ideas about the truth. We know it, all right? <laughs> can we can we sing again? Good. <laughs> no more ideas. Just to no more truth. Feel united. It's, oh my god, she's oh my god, it's heartbreaking. It, it, she's so you know, sad. We need we need to stick together. Uh, I think these guys are uh, anti-vax, right? That's the whole thing. Anti-vax, anti-mask. I love. I, I would love to hear. Is Where's that? the ram? Give us the ram. Where's the ram ranch? <laughs> if I get rammed, oh Jesus Christ! Thank you. Who stopped them? <laughs> if I get rammed, he says. I did their. Uh... Darlene, they ran the deck. Oh, sorry, my, I keep forgetting to turn the mic. The only thing I'm talking at this point is my fucking head. Guys, I think half of these people are pretend pretending. Yeah, let, let me play you the Ram Ranch while this is going. The actual song. The yard, big bulging cocks, ever so hard. <laughs> Orgy in the showers at Ram. Breaking here, you're gone. <laughs> mm. Right. Only all good right, vibrations. Only direction. good vibrations. Let's get some direction here. All right. So we determined earlier. All right. We're gonna do this thing. We're gonna. We're gonna put our own government in. We know that. We know we've got the thinkers. We know we've got the brains. That's fine. We're gonna do it. Now, we just need to think. What are the what What would our first moves be when we get you know when we get that that the, the big house you know that we're looking at with all what our big, house? big rigs right now. And when we get down to that 24 Sussex, guys, we're going to take Justin right out. He's been living in that place, living in the, the lap of luxury over there, and he's out. And we'll take over he's that. He's a lap dog. That's what he is. He's a, he's <laughs> a lap <laughs> dog. Frank, I've, if I've lap moved you up, like a thousand times, I swear to God. All right? You know what I'm, you know what I'm about to say, Frank? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, thank you. Now. I raise your hand. Go ahead. We're gonna get some new speakers, and I want to know what's issue number one. What's issue? Freedom. Form government, and we're gonna form government. For maybe ten more minutes, and then we're gonna come back once we've calmed down. We've had a little thinking time. We're gonna come back, and we're gonna what? talk. Okay, what what are we doing with our trucks tonight? Where's Pat King? All of that kind of stuff. But what? First, what's the first order of business when we get you know the government for us? What is the government? Are they making now? Are they making their own government? Okay, go ahead, Frank. Why are you guys uh, like? I'm not trying to upset you, but why are you guys censoring and muting a reasonable voice when that woman was trying to talk to you? She wasn't being disrespectful. She was literally trying to just give you the bare bones of exactly what's going on. Period. Like, even though the pe there's people that Frank, disagree you on our with side, or Miguel, you on our side or not? Christ, I called him Frank. I'm sorry, Frank. Miguel, are you on our side or not? Okay. I'm not. I'm not on anybody's side. I see the benefits and the. I know what the, side he's, he's on. I know what the border he's on. Don't get us confused. I know they that. But I know that commie pinko <laughs> rubbish that he's talking. Oh boy. Hey, I I know that commie pinko rubbish yeah, as well. I'm to tell everybody one more time. I know that. No infighting. All right, we're getting along. This is a love. I know that. You know, it's like we've been saying about we all love each other here. So don't fucking come talking about this stuff. All right? Dude, it's kind of sad though, isn't it? Like the, uh, a lot of these people seem like they're literally on the edge. Uh, the, the first order of business. Can we uh, uh, can we ban um, broccoli? I I hate broccoli. And we need to make that illegal. <laughs> Hunter would totally vote for that. Uh, is this We're here to talk set? about our charter rights that the government is taking away from us. Not fucking vegetables. <laughs> we, have, we have the right. You, you can say that, but I haven't seen you up here. You know, we've been eating hot dogs up here. You know, vegetables are... Uh, I've been talking to some wellness people up here. Oh, I've Frank, changed my whole view on us. It's changed my whole view on life. They were injecting so, the hot dog needles this morning. Yeah, nobody's eating broccoli there because it's awful. <laughs> hot dogs rule. Has anybody? Right. Been oh, see, look at that. Look, this is we're we're a democracy in action already, guys. Somebody said broccoli. No, 
that's not our first order of business. All right, no bad ideas, but no, not our first order of business. Next. <laughs> yeah, I just no wanted bad to, to talk about something that's got me really worried as an independent trucker. You know, Freeland was on the news and she was talking about our banks being decertified. And the idea that any business, you know, any independent trucker, you know, your your own business, I mean, you can be decertified from your bank apparently. That means they can seize your bank account. And I mean, what are we supposed to do when our bank account is seized and it's decertified? And that means it's, like this is an emergency order for 30 days, but so we could never be able it's to like, use banking services again. Some people are truckers, you know, some people are trolls, angry and some that, people you know, are like fake came out trying to like scare all the truckers. This, you know, and Pat King had us out here and we had no idea that this is the sort of thing that could happen. You know, because I stood up for freedom, I might never be able to use a bank again in Canada. Like, how am I supposed to feed my family, you know, and collect a paycheck when I've been decertified by all the banks in Canada? Like, does anybody have an answer for that? Once we form government, there'll be lots of cheap profits. <laughs> <laughs> be a what are they talking the about? What are they talking about? What government? But I, I won't no, be able to double down. Double down. Double down. Like, how are you going to? What's your plan to overthrow the government? <laughs> I mean, the trucks are parked there on Wellington. They're not on the hill. So how are we overthrowing the government? Do we? Are, do, are we? Cops are on our side. Cops are on our side. That's yeah, true. We got the cops. So we have to get the governor general to. This guy uh, is called you know, dismiss Cam Horn Police. That's why we've got the line. This guy's gonna ram ranch. You no, know, so we just gotta make a plan. We gotta coordinate everyone. Stop breaking everyone up like we're doing right now. That's why we have to be united. <laughs> she hasn't. The governor general hasn't said anything. So I mean, if that's your plan, it's not working, and it's just all of us getting decertified from our banks. And I mean, how you can't get a job and get paid without a bank account. So, I mean, if that's your plan, is waiting on the governor general who hasn't said anything since this thing started. This guy's a legend. Like, yeah, I think it's general. time for us just to leave, man, before we oh. lose well, our ability to make let's a take that idea and run with it. First order of business. Let's I think this is bank. fake. Let's start our own bank. We government, we can do a bank. You can't right? start your own bank, man. <laughs> we can't even get the governor general to comment on what's going on. At the end of this, we're all not, we're not going to be able to make any money. We should Look, if you read the protocols of Zion, the protocols of Zion, of what it all starts is with this banking. Uh, I've met some really intelligent people up here. And they've been, you know, do you have any of those smarter folks in here right, right now that, you know, this guy's got a legitimate question. So that's what we're here for. So let's get back to it. I need some answers. Is someone laughing in the background. What is going to happen? Or I'm not sticking around for this because I am telling you, I know there's others that are thinking the same thing. We are not sitting with our trucks in downtown Ottawa if it means we're never going to be able to access any banking in Canada. So what is your plan? Because this comes into effect tonight. They're out there. They're getting the plates. They're getting our information if they already don't have it. So unless you have a plan to overthrow the government tomorrow, then I say we just get out of here <laughs> before we've ruined our lives. And I mean, it was... Another it was a great has Hannah ever had a black but I mean, prime minister? It's not worth it if you don't have a plan for what's going to happen tomorrow. Well, first things first, I'm going to cover my plates up with duct tape, and I think everybody else should be doing that too. That's a oh, thing. yes. But man, yeah. if they could. Well, no, if you, if you cover you the for me, bud. Put some snow on it, because that way it's you know it's oh the snow just fell on, and what are they going to do? Take it you for the weather? If I that's smart. <laughs> That's smart. You can find I think, no around here. I think you, you fellas are, are missing out on some important things here. There's it's a three legged stool in Canada here. We have our government, we have our banks, and we have our insurance companies. They're attacking you through all all three methods. They've already got all your information. I think uh, the ship's already sailed on that, fellas. And here's the song for you. The Navy's with us. 
Oh, uh, chips, we're truckers, bud. We're truckers here. Let's all stick together. Let's double down. Hold the line. Do you know what, man? You can stick around to have your bank decertified. But you know what? I'm going to the Ram Ranch. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Get the whole time I knew the right knew him. Here. <laughs> So I'm not again, being rammed here? again. I'm sore <laughs> and I'm tired. Dude, the guy that keeps saying I'm not being rammed is like Super Troll and he's been here I've for had ages. It up, if you guys continue, I'm I'm right, yo, hide my hands up. I've had it up to here with this ramming. <laughs> and they're, they're, I can't, it, it, I, I lose my, I, lose me. I can't even string a sentence together. I think this guy's the troll. Ramming. This guy is the biggest troll. To be honest, it's hard for me to, to even stay on on this call with you guys because my phone it just won't stop ringing at every dang time. The same cowboys, Indians, I don't know. I know. Ram this ranch. Man is a ram huge ram. My ass ram lately. ranch. Like, I can't walk anywhere without being fucking rammed. <laughs> Dude, everyone's a troll. Everyone is a troll. Everyone must be a troll. Maybe the neighbor back stop. home has some rams. And that's what we should be unleashing on these ram ranchers. They want. they want us to they want to scramble us. You know, Everyone's it's a, a, it's a psyop. It's a, I heard some guys up on the hill talking about uh, uh, technology and psyops. And, uh, uh, this ram ranch is something like that. So let, let's, let's just, let's call it this RR. Guy. They kicked him out. Let's, let's have code. So we let's mm. do, and let's get back because I, I think you're right. RR. And I, you know I don't like using this term, but I get triggered when I hear the the ramen in the the ranch. I don't, uh, bud, bud. Bailey, it's not the time to play music. If you could uh, shut that down. Didn't mind that tune, no. Kind of got me got me tapping my heels. But you're, I'm gonna move. <laughs> Ram wrench. Guys, am I free to speak? I've had my hand. Up. Oh, please. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I, just kind of, I kind of just wanted to like say like I'm I'm really like proud to see so many like workers wanting to like stand up for their rights and stuff. And I just wanted to like you guys were asking about what the plans are for after, you know, seizing some sort of control. And I just wanted to know, like, if, if we have any, like, plans to kind of take back control over our own labor. He's going to be like, Ram right Ranch. Now, we don't have much control and, like, there's too much leverage put over our heads by, you know, all these, like, corporations with all their power. And, like, I, I just really wish that we could kind of, like, have a say in what, what, like, you know, determine our own labor rights and whatnot. Because right now we're being controlled. That's what I'm talking about. That sounds like that's what we should be aiming towards. None of this communist bullshit with all the mandates. <laughs> it's just really sad. This guy is like, such a troll. So much leverage put over us by like these these corporations and these organizations with just so much control, and like we don't have a say in what our labor means for us and for like our like our community and stuff like that. Because like right now when we work, we don't see the benefit from it, right? That's why we need more stuff like this. Like all the truckers getting together making everyone listen like we need more of that yeah that's why we need more capitalism <laughs> yeah like, that's right so freedom I say Free, that. I, freedom I to make like, a living it just feels you know like we're, we're not taking free away because from right us. now sorry we're, we're i just feel like we're not free right now because like whenever i work like i'm getting paid what i get paid and like it, it's just unfair that like i'm working and producing so much value for my boss and then they take all the money like that I'm producing for them, and I don't get any of that. Like I don't get as much back when I'm getting paid and stuff. And like the and then the government taxes me on that, and then I'm not like receiving back what I should be getting. Uh, Ram Ram. Talk to your accountant for your. <laughs> who the fuck? Who Ram? I told you. I think the co-host. I told you to stop with the ramming. Oh, controls. Fucking ranch. They can keep ramming and ramming and ramming, but that, we're just going to hold tight. We're going to hold real tight here <laughs> up on the hill. That's got, right. Try to ram through the line when we hold the line. Yeah, that's for no, sure. I'm getting a little bit loose from all Yeah. How are you going to ram it? Hold it tight.